Hi, YouTubers! JW Accent here. JW Accent here. Anywho, you have come to see this video about how to do Palpatine's voice. Rather, you're doing a cosplay or maybe a theatrical performance of Emperor Palpatine. It is best to know how to do the voice of Palpatine. Let's do this. Shall we? Shall you? Shall I? Yes, we shall. In this very special edition of Jay's YouTube. Or Jay's channel. <laughs> First off, you must know that when you do any voice, it is best to study the mouth of the character that is talking. It is harder, I understand, to do the cartoon voices by studying the mouth, but you try your best, you do what you can. That being said, when you study Palpatine, I want you to study Palpatine first from the, <laughs> some of you original trilogy fans are going to be upset about this. Yes, the prequels. Palpatine, in his regular voice, would have something different. And so you would want to start with how he originally sounds, meaning the original actor's voice. So you would go with something more like this, and you would go up to Anakin and you would say, I need your help, son. I am appointing you to be my personal representative on the Jedi Council. So you would do that. And the way to do that is you would Put your mouth about like this, you know, and it's about right here in the throat, you know, and it doesn't go too low, and it's not all in the throat. A lot of it is right here, right there, right there, and the way you would talk is that way. So, this is the way that regular Palpatine would talk. All right, and that's how we do that. And it adds a little British. You would add a little bit of British in there. All right. Now, as he gets to the bad guy, Palpatine, he'll have a lot more anger, a lot more darker, a lot more evil. So he would go from this to a little more darker. And on dramatic parts, you would go there. To make it sound more interesting, and then you'll notice he does this. His tongue is curved. Like, yeah, like a taco. So, you just lay it, lay it down in your, connect both sides of your tongue, like a taco, underneath the back of your teeth. Like that. So when you talk, it sounds like this. <laughs> and how to the laugh is very simple, very easy. Again, it's that right there. You know, right in that 
right in that section. It's not too high, not too low. And you can just go, uh, a curve that tongue, or a curve that tongue, and go, take a little bit of breath, and let it out when you do it, too. So go, <laughs> when he's, uh, board the Death Star, and he's talking to Luke, and he says certain things like, Oh, I'm a Read the deflector shield will be quite operational when your friends arrive. He's not really sad. He's just being evil. <laughs> so, here's what you do there. And because you want to go to the original trilogy, you're going to go a bit higher. And in the prequel trilogy, when he becomes his darker side, which is episode 3, he is a bit deeper i mean real evil demonic deep let's listen to the difference between episode three demonic palpatine which is so much more lower and return the jedi so here it goes episode three Now with that, that is in the throat. That is directly in the throat when you do that. Okay, you're using the same Palpatine voice, which is from the original trilogy, but you lower it to right in the center, right in between there, and you don't push it. If you can't do it, don't do it, or else you will ruin your vocal cords. If you can't do it. Don't do it. If it hurts, don't do it. Or gradually do it to where your throat will get used to it over time and be able to do it. So, episode three. Good. Good. The force is strong in you. Episode six. Good, good, the force is strong in you. Now right there, it's actually right here, just under the chin. That's where you want to have it. Good, good, and it's way back here. Right back here. It's not really near the drum. It's almost there. Yes. Yes. Again. <laughs> so now you know basically the difference between that and that. So let's try this again with the regular Palpatine, going into Dark Palpatine, going into Episode 6 Palpatine. So, <clears throat> regular Palpatine with his regular voice. Have you ever heard of Darth Plagueis the Wise? Have you ever heard of Have you ever heard of Nas Plagueis the Wise? So, regular, low, high. Remember, this is important, especially when doing someone like Palpatine, that you must enunciate your words. Nobody's going to understand, you know, Nobody's going to understand that. It's not entertaining. It's kind of irritating. It will ruin your throat. You must do this right. You know, Articulate. Enunciate. It's very important. If you have a scratch, if you're using a scratchy voice type, it is 
hard enough for someone to understand you if you don't do it right. Okay, so enunciation is good for any voice, but especially when you're doing a scratchy voice. Remember that. Remember that. So, I'll leave you with one last thing. Okay? Remember that Palpatine has different, you know, layers. He has so many ways of saying certain things. So you can't just say, you know, just, just go on and study how he says certain things by watching the Star Wars films. And that there alone should help you. Um, for instance, let's put in there power, the quote from Star Wars Episode 3. Where Mace Windu's got him down and all of a sudden he just belts out power. One of the things you're going to do is put the P, the push in power. Okay, you put the P in there. You're going to curve your tongue again. You're going to stick it out slightly. Power! Unlimited power! Very easy, very easy. And that voice is way, way back. And it's being pushed. Yes, you are going to push. I regularly would tell you not to push it. But since he is pushing this line, you want to push that line forward. Remember to put that oomph in there. That sort of British tone to whatever you say. With the scratchy, with the old man, regular, with whatever you're doing. If you're going as Palpatine, regular. If you're going as the dark Palpatine from 3. Or if you're going as just the pure evil old, you know, coot from episode 6. So I'm leaving you with my mantra. Remember to submit to... Uh, have a good day to comment to Oh yeah. <laughs> Curb your tongue, people. <laughs> Wipe out. Remember to submit. <laughs>